Doomfist is one of the most mobile and scary heroes in Overwatch, and a strikingly powerful force on the battlefield, so I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to dominate with him and deal with the threats that come your way. Human strength will only get you so far. Doomfist combines his years of training in mixed martial arts with enhanced cybernetic body parts to destroy his enemies. His primary fire is a hand cannon that fires a burst of projectiles that spread out as they travel. While there's no damage drop off over long range, the chances of hitting targets drop dramatically the further they are away from you. However, up close and personal, this can deal a lot of damage very quickly. Also, this weapon cannot be reloaded, instead the four shots will recharge over time. His most important ability is probably Rocket Punch. After charging up, Doomfist will lunge forward, knocking back and dealing damage to whichever enemy he collides with. If the target is knocked back into a wall, additional damage is dealt. This ability can one-shot most heroes other than tanks, and can also move Doomfist around the map quickly to get in and out of combat. Getting a kill with this at the start of a teamfight can give you a massive advantage, so wait for the perfect moment to strike. His next ability is Rising Uppercut. This throws Doomfist and anyone hit by the skill up into the air, often making them an easy target for hand cannon shots or to line up a rocket punch. This skill can also be used to reach high ground and allow him to work with his team to force the enemy off. Seismic Slam causes Doomfist to leap forward and smash into the ground. From the point of impact, a cone spreads out, and anyone caught in it will be pulled towards him and take damage. This can be used before the uppercut to pull the target in close, or alternatively, you can use the uppercut to get up into the air and then slam from above. This will give bonus damage to the slam, as the further you travel, the more damage it deals. All of these abilities are powerful in their own right, but Doomfist really excels when combining them together in a wide variety of ways. This allows him to dive into combat, get a quick kill, and either continue to fight or fall back to safety before the enemy knows what's hit them. His ultimate is Meteor Strike. This skill removes Doomfist from the map for a few seconds before he plummets back to Earth, dealing damage to enemies around the impact zone. Being able to completely leave the map like this is amazing if he starts to get focused during a team fight, but getting kills with it can take a little bit of practice. Ideally, you want to use it to take out targets who can't escape the radius of the blast zone quickly. Anyone with movement abilities will be much harder to kill, but if they're an isolated support for example, it can be easy pickings. Lastly, he has a passive ability that will grant him additional health as he deals damage with any of his abilities, excluding the hand cannon. This can help to keep him alive during fights, but will decay over time. It'll take more than that to stop me. Although Doomfist has many powerful weapons, he also has numerous weaknesses. Heroes who fight from long range or high ground have a real advantage over him. The way Doomfist moves using his abilities makes him predictable, so characters like Soldier, McCree, Farah, Widowmaker and Hanzo have no problem landing shots, and it can be almost impossible for him to reach them if they're in a good position. Doomfist's lack of any good long range attack can also hamper his ultimate charge rate, as he can't poke at the enemy from long distance to charge it up. Sombra can also be a major problem, as when hacked, Doomfist is left without many options. Rocket Punch is deadly, but it does have its drawbacks. If you run into another charging Doomfist or Reinhardt, you'll both be knocked down, although this could be used to save a teammate from getting hit. Some Doomfist players can become very predictable, using their skills in the same order and the same way each fight. Good players will pick up on this, and they'll start to avoid and counter them. His ultimate is telegraphed to the enemy in a couple of ways. The first is a large circle that becomes visible to the enemy once you lock in your target, but there is also a sound effect. Meteor Strike! Experienced players will be able to tell if you're trying to target them, and they'll try to move away. The longer he stays in the fight, the weaker Doomfist becomes, as once all his skills are on cooldown, he's drastically weakened. Because of this, you should always try to have a skill left to disengage from a fight, be it a rocket punch or an uppercut and slam combo. Move or get run over! There are a few more useful tips we have to share about this mighty hero. Doomfist excels in 1v1 fights, especially if he can get the jump on the target. Try to think of him as a kind of assassin type character. Try throwing in hand cannon shots or melee attacks between abilities. This helps him avoid exhausting all of his skills too fast, but can also provide some bonus damage. Doomfist combos really well with heroes who can support him as he dives in. Zarya bubbles are great on him during a charge, and the steady healing from Lucio combines really well with his passive. Getting the opening pick with Rocket Punch is huge in teamfights, but it isn't always easy. Charging in from obvious angles will likely get you shut down before you make contact, so try to mix it up. 
use his skills to traverse the map quickly. Doomfist is one of the quickest heroes at moving around the map, either to return from spawn or move into a more advantageous position. Throwing in a quick rocket punch mid-fight can be very powerful. With no charge but hitting them into a wall, it does nearly 100 damage. Keep in mind that it is also a stun and can be used to interrupt any channeled abilities. Doomfist is deadly once he gets a hold of you, and for many heroes, his skills can mean instant death. But for now, I want to hear your tips and tricks for him in the comments below. As always, this is James for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.